in this world all of us humans are actually vectors you may ask why to uniquely identify a person in a huge crowd we need various attributes or features of that person say height weight skin color birthmark etc and all of these features actually help us to guide towards our desired person have you ever heard of the unique identification authority of india the name doesn't ring a bell to you obviously you have heard about aadhar card right the unique identification authority of india has created the aadhar card to uniquely identify each and every person separately even though we have been introduced to the idea of unique identification today we will actually dive deep into this thing so hello and welcome to the sambodhi series of setu where we discuss several basic concepts of statistics linear algebra and machine learning now have you ever wondered why the central government of india introduced the concept of aadhar in the past did they not have enough elements to uniquely identify a person the government have encountered several situations where attributes featured in vo voter cards like name father's name address age and marital status isn't enough to uniquely identify a person there have been several cases where different persons have impersonated that's why features like full hand fingerprint i retina scan has been introduced now as there are billions of people in our country if we add one unnecessary feature which if not added we don't lose any extra information the addition of this feature only makes the entire process much complicated as this data needs to be stored somewhere and this extra information takes up a lot of memory space thus increasing the cost thus this unique attributes collectively are enough to actually create our entire population if you look closely the collection is capable of doing so because the impact of these attributes are independent of each other the collection of these attributes we call them basis of our population this basis helps one to uniquely identify oneself among billions of others now if you think about how many features are there are in your aadhar card there is your name father's name date of birth sex address fingerprints two iris prints and photo of your face so including all of them there are exactly 18 features which are needed to uniquely identify one person here the number of independent features that is 18 is called the dimension of the population that is our vector space now please note that even though here the central government have identified this 18 features for the unique identification there may be other combination of features which may also be able to uniquely identify one person so there can be more than one basis for a vector space in summary in this video we have learned the concept of basis and looked into the importance of identifying a basis by an use case of aadhar while also coming to the result that there can be more than one basis for a particular vector space thank you for watching this video till the end and hope you have grasped the concepts discussed in this video feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below 
and follow this series for more videos on different topics of the data world.